Hi again and welcome back to our channel. Today, I will show you how you can completely remove the background in a photo, we will use an app that comes for free and pre-installed with Windows 10. So, you can do something that looks like this. We can completely remove the background from my photo, and now we could do whatever we want with that picture. We could insert it into a Word document or email, or even use it at PowerPoint presentation. Even we can save it as a PNG file and use it wherever I want. Now, let's go to our PC and do this step by step. Now if you're on Windows 7 or on Windows 8, but you'd like to be on Windows 10, you can upgrade to Windows 10 entirely for free. I have a link in the video description if you're interested in doing that. So, let's say I have this photo on my desktop, and I'd like to get rid of this background, I just want to cut out this picture of this kid. An app that comes with Windows 10 will allow us to do this. Now go down to your taskbar, and within the search box, let's type in, Paint 3D. Now you'll see Paint 3D show up, let's click on that. This will open up the Paint 3D app. Once the app is open, let's click on New. This will start a new project, now let's take the photo that you want to remove the background from, and then simply drag and drop it into Paint 3D. Here's my photo now in Paint 3D, and I still have the background showing up in here. How do we remove the background? This will be extremely easy. We're going to use something called Magic Select on the top bar here. I'm going to click on Magic Select over here, next I see a rectangle appear around my photo and I need to drag the corners around the object that I want to remove from the photo. So, I'm going to go here and I'm going to select just the kid from the photo. Once I've selected the kid, let's click on next over on the right hand side. Check that out so Paint 3D has identified the kid from the background, although it really hasn't done a perfect job, but it's pretty close. You'll see in the photo that the kid hand and hat is missing. So we are going to click on add over on the right hand side, and I'm going to zoom in on my photo. And then I'm simply going to drag a line over the kid head here. This will help the Paint 3D to realize that the kid hand should be part of the selection. You'll notice that it's still missing the hat, so once again I'm going to drag a line over the hat, and that's now included both the kid hand and hat. Now zoom out and see if it captured everything else properly. Looking down at the kid trouser, we can see that Paint 3D has picked extra background as a part of the photo. And to remove that we are going to click at remove here. And then I'm going to drag a line over this. And now it'll remove that part of the selection. Now I will zoom out. And overall, this looks pretty good. Notice down below that there's a checkbox that says autofill background. What this means? This means that once we finish cutting the kid photo here, it'll fill in the background automatically. However, if I uncheck this, it will simply leave a cutout or a white background. So, I want to auto-fill the background, let's now click on Done. I clicked on Done, and it still looks similar. So, what's the difference? Well, if I click on the kid photo, I can remove it from that position on the photo, and I could place it anywhere else. In fact, I could expand the photo or reduce the size. Notice the very nice job at filling the kid photo background. No, I can use my image anywhere. I could press Ctrl and C to copy, or I could press Ctrl and X, if I want to cut. Similarly, I could right-click, and then I could select either of those commands. Now, I'm going to copy for now, and we can use this image anyway else. Like in Microsoft PowerPoint presentation here. And here I'm going to press Ctrl and V to paste. And there you see my image from Paint 3D, and can be adjusted it the way I want. Now let's move back into Paint 3D. How do I save just the kid without the background? Well, let me copy the kid photo again. I'm going to go up to Menu in the top left-hand corner. And click on New. This will ask if I want to save our work. I'm going to click on Don't Save. I now have a blank canvas, and here I'm going to paste the kid photo. By pressing Ctrl and V, now adjust the size to fill up the canvas. Now we could go up to menu and click on save as. And we can now save it as an image. When we go to save it as an image, we could select the type of file. Now we want to save it as whether it's a PNG, a JPEG, a GIF, or whatever I want to save it as. 
One very important thing to notice is that we can even set our photo to has a transparent background. So if we want to use this somewhere else, the background will be transparent. Now we can click on save. This will opens the file save dialog. I'm going to give it a name and save it. Now I'm going to click on save here. Now we have a new file for transparent background. If I double click on that you'll see the kid image with the transparent background. It's really amazing what you could do with all those pre-installed apps on Windows 10. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful please give this video a thumb up and hit the subscribe button.